I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. Ian Schwartz starts with weather. A much better day for us today. The main feature has been cloud cover. We've had some spotty rain in the northern mountains. We'll continue with that into the weekend. South of I-40 should be pretty good as we get into Saturday and Sunday. Lingering rain to the north as our storm system does make its way to the northeast. Another little trough does pull down, and the main thing with this feature will be some scattered activity uh, in the north, maybe a spot shower here or there. But uh, most of us will have a pretty good weekend, including here in Albuquerque. We're looking at a high tomorrow of 62 degrees, 64 for you on Sunday. A fugitive who apparently has a pretty good tolerance for pain has finally been captured. Acting on a tip, police found 24-year-old Joshua Losi at a trailer park outside of Berlin Friday morning. He's been wanted since October 6th when he allegedly tried to run over a police officer after a chase that started with a traffic stop. The officer shot Losi in the ankle, but he still got away. A few days later, he tried to negotiate his surrender, saying that he needed medical treatment. It never happened. Police say Losi eventually removed the bullet himself. He's now in the Valencia County Detention Center. Albuquerque police have caught the man who they think is behind the cruel cropping of a pit bull puppy's ears. Late last night, they arrested 18-year-old Peter Barasa on a charge of extreme animal cruelty. Barasa has allegedly been telling people that he took the two-month-old pup, now named Baby, to a former vet in the South Valley who cut off the ears. Now, cropping the ears is often done by people who plan to train their pit bulls for fighting. Barasa's girlfriend brought the puppy to animal control last week. She claimed that she had bought it from two men who had seven others in a box. Police say that's not true. Barasa is jailed on a $50,000 bond. There may be more arrests. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.